and his homegrown deal this spring with Philadelphia. And six straight without a regulation loss before that three game losing skid. And in that stretch had four wins and two shootout losses. And fed wide for Westfield. Blocked down by Regopoulos. Only has one goal in the season. There's a few guys tied with that one goal mark. A lot of their big guns either unavailable or on the bench to begin this one. Tucker. And a free kick in a promising position on the way here for Philadelphia. Standing over it with his right foot. It is Vasquez, and it connects with his teammate, Oletu Makanya. Whipped in by Tucker. Pierre bid for it. Andre Blake had some time injured. They've brought Andrew Rickoff to the first team. He started with the first team. He had to sign his homegrown contract. Now he's with that group. So Sheridan starts here only for the second time this year. Curled in toward Pierre. The flicked header is off the post. Rebound put in by Tucker. Philadelphia has its first just eight minutes in. Toronto thought Tucker was offside. They stood and watched as he tapped it home. And the first place team in the Eastern Conference is off to a terrific start here in Toronto. Over the top again. A lot of contact there. Play on, says the referee. Denmark. Coming over to the teenager to Philadelphia. You look around MLS Next Pro, and Philadelphia has been one of the best when it comes to identifying talent. And even Leandro Soria, 19 year old from New York originally, but been playing in Costa Rica. Only slip through, chance to make it two for Philadelphia, and they won't miss. It's Edward Davis with his seventh of the year. He scored the winner when these teams met in March, and he makes it two for Philly on this windy day in Toronto. Giveaway out of the back from the home side, and it's just quick passing one with two shootout wins and one shootout loss. Since the start of May, five wins, two losses for Philadelphia. That includes a four-game winning streak from their first game of May and their first game of June. Westfield, something brewing again for Philadelphia. Something to note on that goal for Davis, which was his seventh of the year. For CJ only, it was his seventh assist of the year. Good patience here from Philly. Westfield now whipping it in. Arrow draws the foul. 20-year-old made 12 appearances with two goals last year. Picks it up from Vasquez. Davis rolls it wide. Play back across toward Vasquez. And it's going to be another set piece now for Philadelphia. And Swinger with the wind aiding it. Westfield. Opportunity to make it three now for Philly. Weaving through around the keeper and in. They're having fun with it in these early stages. It is Francis Westfield with his fourth of the season. And inside of 20 minutes, Philadelphia is ahead 3-0. Field picks it up. There's three defenders in front of him. Split. Difficult in a situation like this. If you're Johnny Cimini, what you even say or do with the group? Got 70 minutes to play. You're down 3 0. Obviously, can't throw in the towel, but it's very early to be having that conversation. But first 20 minutes sort of dictate it. 
And it's shown more signs of maybe getting worse with Philadelphia looking for a fourth rather than. Westfield drives it through. Great touch taken by Vasquez and he puts it wide. Well-timed run to stay on side. That, that was Soria rather, excuse me. Another breakaway slip through the third one. Had to just try and keep his feet as long as he could as Westfield came in unbothered. And now a yellow card issued. Vasquez, brilliant ball with his left foot. The header's wide. How was he that open on the backside? Lacanya. Stanley Land. Commits the foul. Wind affecting that one, Pierre. Had to stride through and clear. Over the top from Westfield. It bounces nicely for Davis, looking for a second goal on the day, and he has it. It is 4-0 Philadelphia, and Davis has two. from Edwards, has a Yari for support. Advantage was played, but never materialized. Brought back to the original point of contact. And at the end of the day, here at MLS Next Pro, the objective of growth and development and ascending to MLS and beyond the national teams, there's no sense in letting up for Philadelphia. There's still Tucker driving it in just behind Davis. Here's Westfield. Francis Westfield. Davis was calling for it, seeking that hat trick. Long run coming from Edwards. Fronted by Wetzel. Edwards took a deflection. That was a shout for handball, goes unanswered, plays centrally now, the ball did stay in play, and is still in. Three or four yards, and defenders for Toronto were just ball watching, they looked half-heartedly for an offside flag in the end, hoping that he was off, but it was just their own inactivity. Field against Makanya. And Gabo. Fouled by Olguin. Needless foul by Daquan Barrow. Good service from the corner, it seemed, and then the wind takes it, but it hasn't really bothered Philadelphia all that much. Good movement this from Toronto, but the offside flag comes up. Neil Pierre, tenth start of the year for the Academy product. Whipped in from the corner, flicked away. Edwards volley blocked. See if Toronto can maybe poach something here with him off the field, up a man for the time being. Zimmermanchic gets in the way of the corner. Play back out wide, second effort. Zimmermanchic is there, swipes at it, but it's wide. 
Still without a shot on target in this one as we tick toward the hour mark. Falls for the substitute Fisher. Flicked on by Barrow and the flag comes up. It's been positive signs in this second half for Toronto. One of those days where the result has basically been the result since the 20th minute. Free kick floated in at the back post. Edwards was lurking. Snatched by Sheridan. Play it over toward Olney. He'll track it down. Flag did stay down. Philadelphia getting set to make a couple of changes. Olney. In search of Davis, who's still sitting on that hat trick. Philadelphia getting set for a couple of changes. They just called three subs over to the bench from the warm-up area. Off. On the turn, it's Ayari. Now Regopoulos. Back to Sivermanchich and blocked. Regopoulos, Stojadinovic. Regopoulos has his cross blocked. Corner dealt with well by Philadelphia, but they'll have to do it again. Second time, Philadelphia deals with it well. Back to Ayari. With the three coming now. For Philadelphia, Matt Catavolo will check on, we're told, for Theo Regopoulos. Only 20% of the possession. Drastically different than the first half where they had nine shots, four on target, and 45% of the possession. A more even balance in that regard. And just human nature. After a four-goal first half to ease off the throttle, they've done the hard work. Kanye runs into some trouble. Fouled by Barrow. Stojadinovic stepping through. Stojadinovic going for goal. Clipped ahead toward Barrow, who's getting frustrated now. Saw him impeding the restart after the previous offside. Now this foul. Frustration starting to mount for the striker who really hasn't. Go back from the corner. Zimmermancic for Stojadinovic. Free kick on the way for Toronto. From that free kick, it takes a deflection and it's in the hands of Sheridan. That kind of day for Toronto. Give it away to Olney. CJ Olney. Or rather 20th and then 31st to get out to this 4-0 lead and have not looked back. Stojadinovic. Now oh, for Edwards, good ball from Edwards. Glancing header saved by Sheridan. It has seemed for quite some time now that it's going to be a race between those two. 
in the Eastern Conference, Philadelphia and Cincinnati. And the run in here for the top spot in the East. That's not something to be lost in this shuffle. How important that would be for their confidence after giving four up in the midweek to Red Bulls in a loss. Ayari's free kick, the header wide. 